Here's what I would tell you. Dak Prescott don't deserve to get paid more than Trevor Lawrence. I don't give a damn what anybody says. Trevor Lawrence has been in this league for three years. Dak Prescott has been in the league for eight. Dak Prescott got two playoff victories in eight years and continuously falters come postseason time. Oh, he's phenomenal from September through December, without question. But as the playoffs loom, that brother folds like a cheap tent. Now, that's not to say he will in the future. I'm saying what he's already done. Y'all could point to the 48-32 to 32 victory that the Green Bay Packers exercised against the Dallas Cowboys in last year's playoffs. I'm here to tell you, I don't want to hear that. Make it 48-16. They were getting annihilated. It was window dressing at the end, those last 16 points that the Dallas Cowboys scored. They got their ass kicked. Jordan Love and Green Bay rolled up. Aaron Jones, let's not forget him. Uh, you know, they rolled up into Big D, Dallas, where I'm at right now, right away. And they whipped their ass. And Dak Prescott threw a pick six along the way. This is what he does. He threw two interceptions. This is what he does. When it was bleeding, he doesn't stop it. He continues to let it flow. That's what he does. So to me, when I look at Dak Prescott, I get you. You got to pay him. If you're the Dallas Cowboys, who's the quarterback that you're going to have there? I would remind you that Cooper Rush should won regular season games with him too. And I'm not saying Cooper Rush should replace Dak Prescott. I'm saying if you Dak Prescott, let's say, for example, hypothetically, the Dallas Cowboys come to you and they give you $50 million. You shouldn't be sneezing at that. It's $50 million. And you ain't number one. Hell, you ain't number 10. That's a fact. When we look, let's look at the landscape of the National Football League, please. So we got Jalen Hurts. I know he had a down year last year, but I still consider him better than Dak Prescott. So we got Jalen Hurts, right? We got Jordan Love. We got Jared Goff, who's going to a Super Bowl, and they were in the NFC title game against San Francisco last year, Detroit. Okay? We got Dak going on. We got Kirk Cousins in Atlanta, who's just as inefficient come postseason time as Dak Prescott. But still, he's right up there. We got, listen, Brock Purdy and then reigning NFC champion, San Francisco 49ers. We got that going on. So I'm looking at that. That's just the NFC. Let's go to the AFC. Tua, we've got, uh, uh, you know, Josh Allen. Look at the AFC North. We got Lamar Jackson, Joe Burrow. Okay. Listen, you can look at Deshaun Watson. I believe in them. I know Russell Wilson and Justin Fields are in Pittsburgh. They got to show and prove. But at least two quarterbacks in the, in the AFC North are better than Dak Prescott. The South, it, here's all you need to know. He ain't even considered the best quarterback in Texas. That's C.J. Stroud. Okay? And in the AFC West, you got Patrick Mahomes and Justin Herbert. So that's what it is. Come on now. Look at these quarterbacks I just gave you. I already told you, Herbert. I already told you, Mahomes. So that's how I'm looking at it. Dak Prescott's going to be in a position to hold the Dallas Cowboys hostage. And it's hilarious to me. Because how the hell you win two playoff games in eight years, but bold enough to sit up there and say, pay me or else. you the Dallas Cowboys. You got a lot of thinking to do. Seriously, you did nothing this offseason. And I understand that Dak Prescott is an all-world quarterback during the regular season. I'm only talking about the postseason. Now, if the postseason don't matter to you that much, and it's all about being interested enough to get to the postseason, okay, then pay Dak Prescott. But if postseason performances matter, one would argue you should hold that against him. You should hold it against him. You got to pay Jordan Love, though, if you're Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers is going, I can't believe I didn't mention Aaron Rodgers with the New York Jets. Aaron Rodgers with the New York Jets. So, I mean, everywhere you turn, three quarterbacks in the AFC East, at least two in the AFC North, at least one in the AFC South, and at least two in the AFC West. That's about seven quarterbacks, y'all. And I gave you the names in the NFC, none of whom are Dak Prescott. What's the problem? So it's going to be real interesting to see what happens this year. It's going to be real interesting to see if the Dallas Cowboys are going to open up the vault and pay Dak Prescott at the expense of a C.D. Lamb and a Micah Parsons. 
Because you know what I believe. I believe the number one priority to be paid is Micah Parsons. Because you know what that brother's going to bring on the defensive side of the ball. But most importantly, more so than anything else, he's a, pro a prohibitive face of the franchise. When you think about Micah Parsons, you see Dallas Cowboys. That's how I view all of this.